How Revit can get you a better paying job? What are the criteria that gives you a better pay in architecture industry? This video is nowhere for the promotion of Autodesk softwares or Revit or anything. This is purely based on what is going on in industry. What I'm seeing like when we are hiring for our company, we see certain skills. We see that does this person know these softwares? What does he knows about this software? And we do ask these kind of questions in interview as well so that we can judge like, OK, does he know about it or he is just faking on his resume? So these are the factors that made me make this video right now because a lot of architecture students out there are not focusing on this software just because it's a bit tedious to learn. So this video will cover all of this, why companies are switching to these softwares, why you will get more paid, if you have experience on this software and if you have been using this software thoroughly and if you know everything about this software. So without any delays, let's get started with the video guys. So first thing first guys, a lot of architecture companies and firms are switching to Revit right now. It is also because of the BIM mandate that a lot of international governments have been doing. For example, US, UK, Canada, Australia, all of these governments have mandated BIM. And Revit is one of the softwares that helps in BIM processes. Revit is not BIM. BIM is totally different. And I have already made a lot of videos explaining what is BIM, how BIM functions and all of these things. So even if you are an architect and if you are not interested in BIM, you don't want to work in BIM, you don't want to become a BIM coordinator, still you need to learn this software that is Revit. So now let's talk about how Revit can help a firm and how Revit reduces the time of work that is required to produce a drawing. So in Revit, you are working in 3D first of all. Anything that, any change, anything that you change is changed in elevation plan section all at once. So that becomes a very crucial part because it reduces a lot of time. Uh, while when you are working on AutoCAD, you all know that you make a plan, then you go on the elevation, then make an elevation, then go on a section, then make a section. Here, you don't have to do that. You just make a change and that change will be shown in your elevation plan section everywhere. So everything is linked. You are working in a 3D environment plus all the elements that you use. For example, walls. Walls have all the data necessary for your wall. It's not just a, a block of 3D that you have placed. Like for example, in SketchUp, you don't have that many information in build you have to build in but here you have inbuilt information you can modify this information and use this information for your quantity and other scheduling purposes similar things goes for the windows doors floorings roofing and all the equipment that you put in your building all of these equipments can be scheduled and can be later utilized in the construction process so overall, this Revit process, I'm not talking about the BIM process. I'm just talking about a basic Revit software process reduces a significant amount of your time, which goes into your construction documentation work. So a lot of firms are realizing this, even though even though they are not trained, they are going to hire more trained people. So if you have a good control over the software, if you know everything about the softwares, then guys, you will have the tendency of getting hired before your peers. So that is the main, main point that I wanted to highlight. And right now in industry and all around me right now, there are people, there are architects. Okay, when I talk to them, they are like, Oh, I'm not working on Revit, I'm working on Rhino because I'm more into architecture. I need to draw more parametric building designs and all of these things. But guys, try to understand this. Parametric design is not something that you do every day. No firm in this entire world does only parametric design. 
the parametric structure might be designed in rhino the structural systems might be designed in rhino but then later on they are imported or exported to revit so that's why i keep saying that you know learn this software even if you don't want to get into bim learn everything about this how cloud collaboration can be done and also this this is also one of the main point that you can do a lot of collaborative work for example i am sitting here i can work on a same model that my colleague is working but he's sitting back in india so just imagine the space distances time zones don't matter anymore autodesk construction cloud gives you access for all your drawings and models anywhere around the world you don't need to have your laptop or revit software on your computer even if you don't have it if you have autodesk construction cloud access you can just go on the construction cloud app on your phone or your tablet and just have a look at the sheets or the model if you want so these kind of capabilities come with revit and that's why a lot of construction companies and architecture companies are switching to it and what problems we are facing right now in industry is we have a lot of architects we have lot of architecture technologists but we don't have sufficiently trained architects and architecture technologists out there who are like well versed with revit who know revit thoroughly there is a lot of training process that we have to go through and follow through with all the new hires that uh, we hire over here so i would say that you know start focusing on these softwares and master these softwares and to learn this i would say best place is linkedin learning second best place is youtube so if you are on youtube uh, you will find a lot of tutorial videos where people are uh, showing you step by step process of building an entire building in revit so go ahead uh, go to these tutorials watch out these tutorials and if you want me to make uh, specific revit tutorials family tutorials or bim uh, tutorials uh, please mention it in the comment section i would be happy to make it but i don't find that i have that kind of momentum on this channel to put that much amount of effort in making tutorial video if this video by any chance gets 100 likes i will start making tutorials for all of you so go ahead hit a like and subscribe to this channel i hope this video was helpful for you take care of yourself keep following our key blogs